greased up the cam bearings inside of here. This is all flushed on the surface. Um, as far as the faces are concerned, you don't want to go too deep, but you need to go deep enough. And we're gonna clean up this hole here. So what we got over here is the timing and how I like to do my timing marks in between here. I have the two timing marks. So the two timing marks are there. I put them black across it, and then I put blue Loctite on the threads here. Um, tighten them up. And I will start working on this side afterwards. But as far as this side, grease up the cam bearings. You have that retainer pin that's right here. We will then remove this. So we moved the pin. And now we will put it in here. I'm cleaning up my Screaming Eagle oil pump and I noticed I was going to bolt it up on my cam plate and ins install it and not really show you guys that part. Um, you got to make sure you have your clips, make sure you have you guys' instruction manual for the Screaming Eagle oil pump if you happen to have it, going back in with it. Make sure all the parts are there, the clips, the O-rings, everything that you guys need. Double check, go over the parts. Um, but, I took my motorcycle to a shop. I won't say the name, but they're supposed to be good. And the guy said that my bike wasn't run, cause I took it to him originally after building my bike and he said that the, I just wanted them to test the bike for me and um, make some passes and kind of just break in my bike and do do a dyno, dyno on it dyno test on it so he did that but at the same time he said that he did a $600 um, work order for me because my cam was not aligned right and it was um, sounding bad and so he had to get in there and said that my timing was done wrong you know at the time I thought about it and I was like mm, I don't think so but okay whatever so I paid the money had him do it professional okay whatever do it so then I'm opening up my oil right now and I have both these plates together. Both of these plates are not to be, to be together. So have your guys' instruction manual here. Have everything out. Clean it up. Put it back in. Remember there is grooves and stuff. So you do want to just put, when you take it out, put it back. Mark all the sides. Because on the Screaming Eagles, I don't think they have it up and down. But if it's been in there for a while, make sure you guys mark the side that you guys, it came out. So it, it goes back in the same. It's pretty important with this. I mean, it's not so important, but it's pretty important. I would do it. It's good, good practice. But both of these were together. And this place is supposed to be professional. And I can tell you right now that I didn't do this originally they did this because I had the same instructions as I do now and there's no fucking way that I would have done something like that it's not my style it's not what I do but we're even if it's your pike and you think it was you that might have done it last remember it might not have been you and to double check the work I was gonna clean it up anyways but I wasn't expecting this anyways we'll get this in here and um, 
We'll set it. See, look at I got the instruction manual right here for the Screaming Eagle. And you can totally see number 11 and number 11 with the 12 in the inside. Well, this one was not. It was on the very outside of them. Anyways, we're going to get it done right right now. Put it together. Put bolt it on. Blue lock tight on the pump. Uh, make sure the O-rings are in. And we're going to slide it in there. Real quick, what we got going here. So, still bolting this up right now. Um, I forgot which spacer went in what side. So, the one with the snap ring right here is a 100,000th of an inch spacer. So, what we're going to do, real quick. Take my gauge. That's one hundred thousandths. That's thirteen hundred thousandths. So, the one with the one hundred thousandths, we're gonna take that one. So hopefully you caught that. But measuring this one, hundred thousandths of an inch. This one is going to be the wider one at 13 thousandths of an inch so we'll put our snap ring on here new snap ring new chains on both sides and new tensioners also old tensioner we got new tensioners <clears throat> put a little bit of oil on the o-rings new o-rings ring put a little bit of oil on it good to go and we're gonna set in 